Have you ever wondered if you could take your passion for day trading and turn it into a full-time gig? What if I told you that in just seven days, you could take the first steps towards becoming a confident day trader? In this video, I'll give you a week-long crash course on how to start day trading in 2024, all in just 20 minutes. So let's break down the days one through seven and show you how by day seven, you can be on your way to trading full-time. Day one and arguably the most important day so you don't lose confidence is just don't quit your day job. Now, I know you're eager to jump into day trading full time and you're ready to say goodbye to your boring day job that you dread going to anyway, but no matter what, it is important to make sure and keep your full time job for now. The key word here is for now. We'll get there. So let's take a step back and talk about why it's important to hold on to your current job before you do anything else. Your job is a financial safety net. Think of it as a backup plan or really the main plan right now while you navigate what is sometimes the crazy and unpredictable world of day trading. When learning a new skill, especially one that can replace your income, you have to remember the importance of financial stability. Think of it like this, having a steady income from your current job ensures that you can have a consistent flow of money coming in regularly. This money is a sure bet as long as you stay employed. It will always flow in. And having this income that you're sure of is super important because let's face it, bills need to be paid. And when you first start off trading, you may not have any profits that you can use towards paying those bills. In fact, at first, trading might go to the expense portion of your income statement instead of revenue. But don't worry, on this channel, I'm going to teach you guys exactly Exactly all you need to know for completely free on how to take trading from an expense to revenue on your financials. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below if you want more free content on broad market topics just like this one. But it's not just about your day-to-day -day bills. Your current job has a bigger role to play than as your financial safety net. Your current job is also going to act as your very own venture capital funding source. You know how businesses sometimes need funding from external sources to be able to grow? Well, as a trader, you need funding as well. And your current job is going to act as your very own steady flow of consistent funding until you hone in on your day trading skills. And even though you may completely despise your current job, your current job is gonna be that consistent funding source for trading that is ultimately gonna keep you on your feet. Moral of the story is by holding on to your current job, you're not solely relying on day trading profits to cover your living expenses. That means you don't have to make a profit from trading just to keep your head above water. Going into trading with this safety net in mind is going to take a ton of pressure off your shoulders, allowing you the mental and emotional space to to learn and experiment with different trading strategies without needing that money to pay the water bill so you can shower. So to sum it up for day one, just keep that day job of yours. You will need it greatly as you embark on this exciting day trading adventure. Don't rush into the deep end just yet. Let your job be your safety net while you build your skills and grow as a trader. Now let's move on to day two. Day two, dive into free day trading content. You can't jump right into trading without knowing how everything works. Learning all you can before you begin is the best way to get better faster and make your early day trading days that much easier. And look, the internet is going to be your treasure for all of this. There's more information now on the web than there ever has been before. And as a person trying to learn everything about day trading or really any topic, you literally have everything you need at your disposal right on the internet. So start with a simple Google search by typing in day trading for beginners on the search bar. You'll literally be amazed at the gold mine of information waiting for you to research so you can start getting better at day trading. Remember, different trading content is tailored for different traders. So there will be complicated content typically made for advanced or seasoned traders that you may have no idea what it means. The trick is to look for videos that break things down into easy and understanding bits. You want content that doesn't intimidate your brain 
brain, but gently guides you into the world of day trading without making you overwhelmed. Think of it like learning to ride a bike. You start with the basics and soon you'll be doing tricks, right? My number one learning source that I can recommend for you is YouTube, but also Reddit and Twitter are both fantastic learning sources as well. For example, I put threads like this on my Twitter every single day so you can learn day trading tips as you are scrolling. Explore YouTube and Reddit for beginner friendly resources. Now let's talk about two of your new best friends, YouTube and Reddit. These platforms are like the cool kids hangout for day traders and they've got loads of beginner friendly resources. Head over to YouTube and search for channels that cater specifically to beginner day traders. You'll find playlists tailor made for folks like you who are just starting out. These videos often cover everything from understanding stock charts to crafting your first trading strategy. It's like having a personal tutor guiding you through each step all without spending one single dime. I have tons of free content right here on my YouTube channel on the specific strategy that I use to make money only trading one to two hours every single day. Scroll through my YouTube channel and you're gonna find a ton of amazing resources just like this video to ultimately help you on your journey to trading. Now the next stop is gonna be Reddit. Here you will find a bustling marketplace of ideas. Join communities like r slash day trading or r slash stock market and start engaging with other traders. Ask questions, read discussions, and absorb experiences of fellow traders. You'll be surprised at how many people are actually happy to help and teach you from their own experiences. It's like being in a virtual trading room where everyone shares insights and lessons that they learned that ultimately you can avoid by just talking to these people. Trust me, there is a wealth of knowledge waiting for you on those threads. You just gotta go out there and find them. Now, aside from learning the basics of trading from these communities, you also get something you won't find anywhere else news, updates, and other trending information that can actually help you make better trading decisions. So even when you become a seasoned trader, these communities will still be super useful. In fact, Twitter, or now known as X, is actually one of the best resources for news and quick updates. If you are seeing news, trust me, someone else has already put it on Twitter. You just gotta go out there and find it. Now, do you want all of this information in one place? Before we continue here, I understand for some of you, you're ready to click off of this video. This is just way too much work. There are so many pieces to put together. There's so much resources to do, all to become a profitable trader. And while all of this information may be out there for completely free on the internet, you just don't want to do it. And I have a solution for you. In fact, what if I told you that I've done all the research over the last years? I've watched the thousands of YouTube educational videos every single day for the last several years. I've joined every Reddit stock trading group that you could possibly imagine and followed every single Twitter guru and extracted all of that information. What if I told you I did it? Through all of this time, effort, and sacrifice over the last several years, I learned how to become a profitable trader. And most importantly, what if I told you my life mission is now to teach as many people as possible how to become profitable traders themselves? Guys, if you are new here, I run a community called Team Alpha Trading and we teach new traders just like you how to become profitable traders in the stock market. Instead of spending countless hours searching on the internet, we put it all in one place for you. We take a lifetime worth of research and put it into a 90 day program and all you need to do is commit two to three hours per week to learning. We do the only thing that really matters for getting better at anything in life and the only thing that no one else does in this space and that is that we assign you a one-on-one -on -one coach for your 90-day program and actually train you one-on-one -on -one through live video calls. Guys, if you want trained one-on-one -on -one by a team of full-time traders for the next 90 days, there's a link in the description below to apply. We only take on a few new students every single week so we can keep this group small. So if you want a chance at being one of the few selected, all you have to do is scroll down on this video to the description, click the first link you see, enter your name, your phone number, and email and me or a team member of mine will reach out to talk shop with you. I'll put a screenshot right here of where you have to go in the description to ultimately click that link. Those of you who are ready to take action, we will see you on the other side. Day three, you're one step closer to being a trader, but it is important that you learn how to do market research. 
So let's talk about stock market research. It might sound fancy, but don't worry. It's just understanding what is happening in the stock market. But why is knowing what's going on in the stock market even important anyway? As a day trader, your goal is to capitalize on changes in the stock price throughout the trading day to make profits. For this reason, information is literally everything. You need to know how different stocks are doing at any given time, as well as up-to-date sentiments of different stocks under your radar. This is all going to give you an edge so you can ultimately make the most profitable trades. Now, usually this can be a lot of work if you try to monitor every little detail on your own, which is why there are platforms that bring everything together, giving you everything you need for research all in one place. Platforms like Finviz are your go-to buddies for this. They offer free tools that help you explore market trends and find potential stocks to trade and understand market sentiment. Think of it like having a magic wand that reveals which stocks might be worth keeping an eye on. So take your time to familiarize yourself with these tools. In fact, play around with them and see how they can enhance your trading decisions. And by the way, I'm gonna have every single one of these platforms and resources linked down below in the description. So head down to the description for links to absolutely everything that you need to start your journey as a day trader. Day four, and the fun begins. You have all the resources, now it's time to begin day trading. Well, kind of, paper trading that is. So now that the preliminary stages are done, it's time to apply everything you've learned so far into practice. This is where paper trading comes in. Paper trading is like the simulation mode of day trading. No real money involved, just you practicing your moves in an absolutely risk-free environment. What is something better that you could ask for? So you neither lose nor win real money. Instead, you have a dummy money basically that you actually use in a real trading environment. It's literally the perfect way to test your trading strategies without the anxiety of actual financial losses. And if you can't tell, almost everything I've been talking about so far, whether it's keeping your day job, joining a program that can teach you all the skills, or even this tip of paper trading first to test all your strategies, all of this is to help you minimize the risk of actual financial loss. Trust me, there is nothing more discouraging than losing money in the market. Yes, it is part of the process. Yes, you will lose money if you eventually become a profitable day trader, but there's also ways to limit those losses so it doesn't have to interfere with your actual well-being. And those are all the things we're discussing in this video. Paper trading is like a flight simulator for pilots. They practice without leaving the ground and so will you. Explore paper trading platforms that will allow you to execute trades with simulated money. Most major platforms actually offer this learning option. You really won't have a problem in finding one that suits you. As you practice, don't be afraid to make mistakes either. Learn from them and refine your approach over and over and over again. Each day you're going to get better and better and better. And just remember, this is only the rehearsal before the big show. But now let's talk about where to do this paper trading if you really have no idea. So platforms like TradingView and Webull offer excellent options for paper trading. They provide a risk-free space for you to flex your trading muscles and see how your strategies play out in the real but ultimately simulated market. TradingView, for instance, acts as your virtual trading desk. You can analyze charts, practice technical analysis, and execute paper trades. It's your playground to experiment and fine tune your skills. Webull, on the other hand, offers a user-friendly interface for both paper trading and live trading and actually is my personal favorite. In fact, Webull is one of those platforms that I truly highly recommend. And I'm gonna leave links to my favorite brokers down in the description below. And also leave me a comment if you want a complete video on some of my favorite stock trading brokers. Leave that comment below. Day number five, where teenagers turn into real grown adults. This is where you're gonna open a real live trading account. We're gonna step from paper trading and go into actual live trading. So now that you know how trading works in practice, it's time to take a step closer to the real deal. Opening a live trading account is gonna be your first step. Think of this as upgrading from your practice car to a real one. And like I said again, Webull is gonna be a solid choice for this step, and that's because it provides a place where you can transition from paper trading to real market action extremely quickly. And like I said, I actually have an affiliate link to Webull down below where you can use that link to literally give you some free stocks just for signing up link in the description below now understand by opening an account you're unlocking the door to the actual stock market your account is where you'll eventually execute live trades with real money that means it's going to be make or break time here 
Remember, it's a significant move, but you don't have to panic as you've prepared for this with your paper trading practice day after day over and over again. You should be extremely good before transferring to real money. Now, Webull also offers a comprehensive platform with all you need to navigate the trading world. They've got the tools, they've got the charts, and everything you need to transition from a paper trader to ultimately a real live day trader. That said, you'll need to provide a few details to open your account and activate it. However, Webull or any other brokerage you find is going to guide you exactly through it. You don't need me for that. Just go through it step by step. Now that you have your account open, I just want to say congratulations. You've covered a lot here just in the first five Five days of learning how to day trade take a moment reflect on your journey so far you've acknowledged the importance of financial stability dived into free learning resources like YouTube Twitter and reddit and even started practicing on your paper trading account and nailing down that strategy of yours lastly you've opened up a live trading account which is the biggest step you check that box too, and it's time to get rocking and rolling. But just remember, even up to this point, it is only just the beginning. The real adventure is about to unfold as you start making real live trades, continue to learn, and continue developing that skill set of yours to create that strategy that works the most. Day number six is gonna be learning a technical analysis. That's right, the learning continues, and this is gonna be the most important thing to learn when it comes to day trading. In fact, this is the best step that I've given you so far. Why? That's because once you've mastered technical analysis, you will more than likely be trading full time. This is the biggest piece of the puzzle. Don't let the name intimidate you. I promise technical analysis, especially that bit, especially the small bit that you need to learn is easier than you think. Most people overcomplicate it because there is a million different indicators out there and a million different strategies on how to use them. I've divided this section here into three simple yet key steps that you must understand before trading in real time. Step number one, understand the basics of technical analysis. The best way to describe technical analysis is a secret code that you can use to decipher stock charts. It's literally like learning a new language. And today we're going to focus on two essential elements that define the stock market's range of movement. That is support and resistance levels. If you learn absolutely nothing else, one of the most important things in the world of trading is super important is a support support and resistance. Some people do nothing else besides trade off of support and resistance levels, and you can too. So let's get into it because if you can learn these two simple terms, you might be on your way sooner than you think to being a profitable day trader. So what is a support level? Think of this as like a safety net for a stock. It's gonna be defined as the lowest level a stock price can fall before it starts to go up again. Picture someone jumping onto a trampoline. They drop to a certain point before ultimately going back up. That low point on the trampoline that you go to is going to be the support level so what if i told you this is the exact low point of stock xyz and once it hits this level the stock is going to start going up from here well that's essentially what a support level is nothing is a guarantee but stocks tend to bounce off of support levels leaving room for a world of upside opportunity if you know where that level is that the stock could bounce from now the stock market is free which means that there is nothing in place to control prices so how come there's max maximum low points a stock can fall to. Well, usually the stock market prices are controlled by the laws of supply and demand two more important terms here in the stock market. So when a stock price is low, investors ideally start buying in, knowing that if the price goes up, which is highly likely, they will make a profit, right? So as price continues dropping, buyer activity is gonna slowly increasing as that price continues to fall. And eventually the demand for the stock is gonna be so high, there's not gonna be as many sellers selling, there's gonna be tons of buyers that continue to buy into it, that the price of the stock is going to go up the point where the stock prices can no longer go down is going to be that support level learning to identify support is a key to predicting potential upward movement and consequently making buying decisions look if that didn't make sense rewind this video watch it over and over again while taking notes until that makes sense because these laws of support levels and supply and demand zones is going to teach you almost everything you need to know now, equally as important is going to be resistance levels, which is going to be the same section we just talked about, except literally reverse. So resistance levels is going to act like a price ceiling. When a stock price is on an upwards curve, it's going to reach a point where sellers start slowly stepping in. Eventually, sellers are going to step in so much. And if we take that same example of the trampoline, the highest point a person is jumping on it 
it reaches before they start descending. So remember, from a support level, a stock price begins to rise, although there will be fluctuations here and there, of course, but as it rises, traders begin to sell and more and more buyers buy in. But then the influx of sellers is going to ultimately reach a boiling point at the top where sellers, 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 that's gonna be the high point Fewer people are gonna be buying in at those levels. Eventually, sellers are gonna take over. That's gonna be the high point. That's gonna be the resistance level. The price is gonna start dropping. So that ceiling is where the price can ultimately go no further, and that is gonna be called the resistance level. Once again, recognizing these resistance levels helps you to anticipate where a stock might struggle to go higher so that you can sell, take profits at these levels, or ultimately make a short if you wanna play the opposite side of the market. So you can identify both support and resistance levels by looking at the lowest and highest peaks respectively on a stock chart and searching for a repetitive pattern of where these stocks are bouncing from both off of support and bouncing off of resistance right so that was a deep section into technical analysis i really really hope that started to make just a little bit of sense right there and you start to understand ta or technical analysis right but let's talk about step number two here because that was only step number one when it comes to support and resistance so step number two is you're going to use platforms like weeble to identify your support and resistance levels weeble is going to be literally your magic wand it's where you're going to do everything it's where you're going to do your paper trading it's where you're going to do your real trading and it's also where you're going to map out all of your technical analysis on the charting software they have literally everything you need to get started as a day trader in 2024 so if you haven't already by the end of this video head down to the description and download the Weeble app it is the first thing that you can do that is completely free in fact you can actually make your first money in trading by doing this because Weeble will give you a couple of free stocks just for signing up for a free account if you use that link yes you can literally just get free stocks link in the description below so after what you're going to do is map out your support and resistance levels on Weeble's charting system the most important thing here is going to be to look at historical price levels how has the stock price moved in the past day how has it moved in the past week month and even year are there specific points where it consistently bounced back up or face resistance levels. These are your historical price levels or your support and resistance levels. You will mark these points on your chart with a line so you know exactly what levels to look for because guess what? History tends to repeat itself and if it bounced off this level before and it's heading back up there, it could possibly bounce off that level again. Step number three is gonna be to learn to read daily and weekly charts so you can get a broader market perspective. This is gonna be the one of the best tips that I can give you to map out key levels on higher time frames even if you are actually trading a lower time frame. Daily chart and weekly chart can be super important. So let's talk about time frames. Knowing what time frames to use is key for a day trader's success. Two of the most important time frames to gather initial levels and broader market sentiment is the daily and weekly chart. The daily and weekly chart act like different chapters of a stock trading story. To start, the daily chart. The daily chart is going to show you the stock's performance on a day-to-day -day basis. Hence, the daily chart. They offer you insights into a stock's shorter term movements. Are there patterns emerging? Is their stocks consistently hitting certain levels during the day? All of this is important data to not just know, but to also map out on your charts weekly charts zooming out to weekly charts can give you a broader market perspective on the stock's trend over a longer period of time are there overall upward or downward trends that might influence your decision if we're in a massive downtrend on the weekly chart after a big breakdown after a huge news just dropped that the feds are raising rates and the stock has just been tanking week after week after week you might want to think twice about taking that long position if you are planning to hold more than a few minutes right because generally speaking the stock could continue in that downtrend pattern so you see what i mean all of this stuff is going to add together and is going to help you have the most conviction when taking a trade the more things that you can have line up to on the positive side for your trade the more conviction you're going to have and the more chances that that trade is going to end up being a winning trade understanding these time frames will help you make more informed decisions in the stock market and will give you your very own compass to help you navigate the market landscape remember technical analysis is an art as much as it is a science you're looking for patterns trends and clues that gives you an edge in predicting future price movements weevil is going to be your canvas and the charts are going to be your masterpiece so dive in and start mapping out some of those charts and lastly day seven the skill that is going to keep you in the game for the long run calculating your risk management profile and your risk reward ratio 
This is super, super important. Successful trading is all about knowing how much you're willing to risk and how much you can potentially get from such risk. If you don't figure out this part, you're going to be diving into the scary world of trading blindly and you're probably going to get blindsided. You absolutely don't want to do this. So for the last day, consider these key steps in risk management. Step one, use a risk management calculator. Imagine this calculator as your guardian angel. It is there to ensure you don't venture out too far into the risky territory. By using a risk management calculator, you can figure out what the maximum amount of money you're willing to risk on any single trade is. It's like setting a safety net for your trading. Now, you might be asking, can you determine your risk without this special calculator? Definitely. So let's go over it here. Let's say you have a $5,000 trading account, right? That's what's in your account. A good rule of thumb for a conservative trader might be risking one to 3% of this on each trade. So your maximum risk per trade could be anywhere between 50 and $150, right? Now this leads to step two, consider a conservative risk percentage based on the size of your account. So let's talk percentages here. This is where the conservative magic happens, right? Consider how much of your trading account you're comfortable putting on the line for each trade. As I just mentioned, you want to aim for a one to three percent, generally speaking, right? This means that regardless of the outcome of a trade, you won't lose more than one to three percent of your entire trading account on that single trade. This is going to be like having another safety net built in just in case you take an absolutely terrible trade. You're only going to be losing one to three percent. It might feel restrictive, but it is going to keep you secure and keep you in the game for the long term. It ensures that even if this trade is just an absolute flop, you got more money to stay in the game, which is going to be leading me here to step three. Understand the importance of risk management for long term success. Think of risk management as the backbone of your trading career. It's not about avoiding losses altogether. It's about controlling them. So even with a risk management plan, you will still make some losses. After all, losses are part of the game and allow you to stay in the game, right? But with proper risk management, even a series of losses won't wipe out your trading account. It's about preserving capital and having the ability to bounce back stronger. This is how you achieve long-term success as a day trader in the stock market. Just like we talked about, if you're only risking 1% to 3% every single trade, you could have a string of losers and still be in the game, still learning, still growing, still perfecting that strategy. Now, step four, simulate different risk reward ratios. So let's talk about the risk to reward ratio. This is going to be your game plan for each trade, right? This is the play when it comes to it. The ratio is what is going to guide you towards becoming a profitable trader. So what's the rule that we like to follow here? We like to aim for a risk to reward ratio of one to two or higher. This means that for every dollar you're risking, you're looking to make at least $2 in profit, if not more. It's not about winning every trade. It's about winning more than you lose. If you have a one to two risk to reward ratio, you only have to win a little over half of your trades to stay profitable. If you can get closer to winning 60, 70, 80% of trades, now you're really gonna be sitting pretty and you're gonna be on your way to being a full-time day trader. So why is this so important? Simulating different risk to reward ratios is gonna help you understand how your strategy performs under various conditions. It's about finding the sweet spot that aligns with your trading style and risk tolerance. So hopefully all that makes sense. But all right, this has been a lot. If you've reached this point in the video, congratulations. You have now equipped yourself with the tools to navigate the risk-filled waters of day trading. Remember, successful day trading is not about avoiding the risks altogether, but ultimately managing them wisely. As you embark on live trading, stick to your risk management plan like a seasoned captain steering a ship through the stormy seas. More importantly, keep learning as there's always something new to pick up and improve to your trading strategy. It's going to be most important is that you just continue to learn. So with that, we conclude our seven day crash course into the world of day trading. We've covered a lot and the journey ahead is both thrilling and rewarding. So have you started your journey? What's your experience so far? Share with us in the comments below. And of course, like, share and subscribe for more trading tips just like this one, guys. Hope every single one of you guys are on your way to becoming a profitable trader. Comment alpha down below if you want some more broad market videos just like this one. And with that said, me and my other friend here, we're out and we will see you in the next one.